it's time for our next job. So I'm not going too deep into the lore of the game, but in Exapunks, our character is uh, currently being transformed by this virus called the Phage into a nearly useless pile of scrap metal eventually. Uh, but since we are a hacker, we can actually try and turn some of the circuitry in our body into functional uh, parts to keep us going for a little bit longer. So in this job, we're actually hacking our, our left arm because the nerve is not responding properly. So you can see we got our we got our nerves and we're we're gonna we're gonna fuss with them a bit. So our task here is to read a value that's coming from our central nervous system here and we're going to relay it to a nerve that's in our arm over here uh, but sometimes the value that comes back might be outside of a range that we want we want it to be between minus 120 or and uh below 50. but that's not always how it's going to be sometimes sometimes value will come in so we're going to have to make a test and say if it is you know minus 130 we need to clamp it so that it is never below 130, we would put minus 120 instead. Uh, and since this is a job that's happening in our body and not somewhere that we need to leave no trace, this is meant to be designed that, it, that the execution agents will run infinitely. So we do not want our agents to halt for no reason. We want them to keep going permanently. Uh, so I've got two agents. One of them is in charge of sending the signal from the, the central nervous system nerve out and then the other one is in charge of receiving that and writing it into the arm nerve so a is going to head to the central nervous system nerve b is going to traverse through the network which is go re linking through one a few times before it gets to the arm uh, in order to try and make things more efficient, I, I realized that doing the check for below 120 and the check for above 150 on the same execution agent would make it take a while because one would be writing and waiting for the other one to do both of these checks before reading and going on to the next one. So what I decided to do was that I was going to have A handle the above 50 check and B handle the below 120 check, minus 120 check. Uh, and to clamp that value in that case. So we'll, t we'll take a look. So first, they're going to get into position. Uh, and A gets into position first. A is going to do its above 50 check, which it got minus 73 on the first one. So that one doesn't have to worry. So he's going to... Uh, he tests his X over 150. Uh, since it is not over 150, we're going to F jump over to copy and we're just going to copy minus 73 into M. And he's going he's going to wait. B has only just now arrived at the arm. Uh, and it is going to read what XA has sent. And we're then going to do our check on that minus 73 and make sure that it's not below 100 minus 120. Uh, since it's not, we're just going to copy that value into the nerve. And I my camera is blocking it at the moment, so let me actually move. Let me unlock and move. There's no like great spot for me to be through this whole game, but I guess I'll go here for now. Uh, so you'll see we've copied out minus 73 to the uh, to the arm nerve, and we're going to repeat. XA has gotten in minus 70, and then minus 69 is next, uh, and we're going to continue. We're going to keep going until we get an interesting value. And I can, you can actually, okay, that was 477. Uh, and you can actually hold down this button here, and this will actually make it go through the steps a little bit faster. So XA got 477. Uh, we can see that 477 is considerably larger than 50. So what it's going to do is, because T is true, we're not going to F jump. We're actually going to overwrite 477 with 50. It's now been clamped to 50, and that's what we're going to send over to XB to, to write down. And B will do its check on 50 as well, just to make sure that it's not below 120. But we can see that the next one that XA picks up is actually minus 415. And since XA is only checking the above 50 condition, it's actually going to send minus 415 over to XB. You can see that in the meantime, XB has accepted 50 as the answer. It's clamped 477 down to 50. 
But then when XB gets the 415, we have our check for minus 120. We can see, oh, yep, that is below 120. We need to clamp that, overwrite it with minus 120 instead, and we're gonna copy that into the nerve instead. And this is this process is just gonna repeat forever. Because XA got there a little bit faster than XB did, there's gonna be a little bit of a delay between the two signals. That's fine. Uh, there's, there's, there's no problem with that. Uh, and you can see that whenever the values get too high or too low, because we're doing our checks in XA and XB, they're always going to be clamped to the, the acceptable range of values. You can see in the output column, it's never above 50 or below minus 120. And we do this forever, and our arm is now functional. We, we're not gonna die. <laughs> Hopefully we're not gonna die. Well, I guess well, you have to play more of the game if you wanna find out if you're actually gonna die or not. Uh, but yeah, that is the next, the, the first job on our body. Don't worry, there will be more. <laughs>